welcome back programmers in the today's section i am going to show you how you can fetch the text from image and for that obviously we are going to use the python so let's begin so our output will look like this so this is an image with an lots of text so if i run this code it will give me all of the text from the image and as you can see it just took like around two second to grab all of the text from this image it means it's perfectly working so all of the text is accurate like adobe the adobe logo and so on so so let's begin now the first thing you gotta go do is install the pytest link is in the description just write pip install pytest then if you still didn't install the pillow obviously you gotta install the pillow which is the image library so let's have a fun so after installing the pillow and pytest you gotta install the pytest exe which link is in the description if you don't already have the exe now sometime when you install the pytest it will not install the exe which is this in the program files in the Tesseract OCR if you still didn't find the Tesseract.exe so you have to install this .exe file Tesseract OCR as per your system because we are going to use the path of that exe so this is the path to Tesseract which is nothing but the C then program files Tesseract OCR and Tesseract.exe okay so this is nothing but the path which we are going to use now the next thing is we have to define the path of an image now i already have the image in this directory so i just have to write the test.jpg or whatever your image name is so in my case i just have test.jpg that's it this is my image now what we have to do next is we have to use this pytest now before that we have to import the pytest import pytest and import pillow which is nothing but the image library now to import the pillow we have to use the from pil import image so just write image and in here from pytest import pytest now we are going to use that pytest to actually run the tesseract.exe and for that you can just write pytest dot tesseract cmd which is nothing but the path of that exe file which is nothing but the path to tesseract so we are defining the dot exe path to the pytest so that's it now we have to open an image and for that what i'm going to do is that img equal to image dot open and i'm going to obviously pass the path of the image path to image and that's it this is nothing but a simple code now we got our image we got our pytest so you can what you can do is that uh, directly you can pass the text variable which will store the text of the image and use the pytesrect dot pytesrect dot image to string function which is inbuilt image to string and pass the image whatever image you wanna pass so i am obviously going to pass the img which is nothing but the path of my image save it and let's run it so in here let's just write python and then or python file name oops we have to pass the path cd then the path of our file so basically i am running this test.py file so let's begin i am simply just going to use the python and test.py so oops we didn't print anything so let's just print this text and for that just use the print text that's it save it and run it so if i go and write python text.py so as you can see i got all of the text now let's change the image i'm going to 
uh, rename this image with uh, let me first delete it and let's rename this to and in here I'm going to pass test dot jpg okay now let's run it again now in this text this image we got how to write alt text and image description for the visual impaired now let's see what our program is getting us let me remove all of this stuff oops uh, I just wrote CLA instead of CLS okay so let's see what we got in here it will yes we got it text and image now how to write alt text and image description for the visually impaired yes it means our program is perfectly working and it's very best program for your exercise which you can use in many many different different ways so that is it for today's guys if you like this video like this video share this video with other programmers hit on the bell icon so you'll never miss my latest video see you guys in the next video till then just code